All right, so let's take a look at the new features in Google Meet. Now, I'm going to do this from my perspective as a teacher in a Google Classroom um, with a student um, because the reason being that the Meet links that are generated by Google Classroom already are nicknamed, uh, and that is key to using these security features. The, the Meets have to be nicknamed. So if you use the link that's in your Google Classroom, it is already nicknamed. So um, on the left side of the screen, this is my account as the teacher. On the right side of the screen, this is a student account. Um, so I will click, I have this link enabled in my Google Classroom for me. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. It'll open in a new tab and it will get everything ready. I'll mute my microphone just for demonstration's sake, and I will go ahead and join the meeting. Of course, there's join information I can copy if I want to, but let us now proceed down here to the bottom left, this little blue shield with a lock on it. These are the host controls. Um, quick access, I would recommend you turn this off. Um, when you do that, anyone who wants to join your meeting has to ask to join unless you created the meeting through Google Calendar and sent them a calendar invitation. But if you're using this primarily with your students through Google Classroom, if you turn that off, um, anyone has to ask to join the meet before they can join. And you'll get a notification that someone's asking to join. Uh, you can also turn on or off the capability for them to be able to share their screen and to send chat messages. So. Uh, of course, totally your discretion. You may want to turn those on or off. Um, so my quick access is turned on, so I'm going to go over to my student screen, and I will click the link here. That will open up the Meet link in a new tab for the student. Uh, again, I will mute the mic for demonstration purposes, and then click the Ask to Join. So when a student asks to join, the teacher or the organizer of the Meet will get a request uh, if it is a student you're expecting, you can go ahead and ad admit them. If it's a student you're not expecting, you can deny entry. So I'm going to go ahead and let this student in. And you'll see that they have joined here. And the student is now joining on their side. So now let's take a look at some of the new viewing features of Google Meet. So um, this is available for both students and teachers. Um, when you're on your screen down at the bottom right, the three dots for more options, if you click there. Um, in settings, if you're the host, you can also access the host controls there as well. Um, in the settings option, but let's go to change layout. So auto is going to be selected by default but you can also choose a tiled view. And this is where you will finally, natively in Google Meet, be able to see all of your students at once in your meetings, as long as you don't have more than 49 students. Uh, this little slider down here at the bottom, you can shift it down to only six students, or you can go all the way up to 49. Uh, that can be shown at one time. If you have more than 49 students, sorry, um, 49 is as much as you can get. So I'm going to leave that there. Students also have that option, so they can um, go to their more options, click change layout, and their view can also either be set to tiled, uh, auto, which will pick up whoever is speaking, or they can spotlight a person, and or they can put uh, one person in the middle and others on the side, depending on how they want. So those features are there. So you, you're having your meeting. Uh, everything's all good to go and then you dismiss students. You as the teacher, the meet organizer, you stay on until all students have left. So I'm going to have this student leave the call and then I'm the teacher. I now see that oh, there's only one person in the meet. That's me and I'm going to go ahead and leave the meeting. So we'll close those meeting tabs. And now I'm gonna have the student try to rejoin the meeting and we'll see what happens now that the teacher has ended the meeting after everyone has left. So I'm gonna have them click that very same link in Google Classroom. Oh, 
and they get a notification that they can't create a meeting themselves. Um, so yeah, students can't create meetings. Uh, they also cannot join a nicknamed meeting after the organizer of the meeting, the teacher or the calendar inviter um, has left the meeting. So you now have control over who can access your meetings to sign in. And once you end the meeting after all students have left, they no longer have the ability to rejoin those meetings. Um, hope this makes your Google Meets more productive and gives you a better sense of security um, and using those links from Google Classroom. Um, the Meet organizer still has to be there. Uh, students cannot be in there unsupervised. Um, if, there, if it's a nickname meeting, so you as the teacher still have to be there. And please be sure that you are the last one to leave. And hopefully that makes your life a lot easier.